Okay, this question says, uh, the length of a rectangular field is 20 meters longer than its width. The area of the field is 406.25. By setting up and solving a quadratic equation, find the length of the field in meters. I have no idea. So if I have no idea, I draw a diagram. So draw a diagram. The length of the field is 20 meters longer than its width. So I'm gonna let the width be equal to X. And the length then is X plus 20. And the area is just that. Oh, nice enough then. So that's just going to be an area question then. So remember, area is length times breadth. So 406.25 is x times x plus 20. And then we'll just fire that in. That's 420.25 is equal to x squared plus 20x. Bring it all to one side. Put it equal to zero. Always the same fundamentals every time. And then we can solve for this. Okay. So remember, we're going to use our quadratic equation, your quadratic equation, which is normally given to you in the formula booklet. Uh, formula sheet is this. If you have this in this form, then x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So from ours, we know then x is going to be equal to minus 20 plus or minus and it would be 20 squared minus 4 times my a, which is 1, times my c, which is minus 406.25. Square root of that bit, all divided by 2a. a is just 1, so that's just going to be 2. Okay, let's fire this in on our calculator. I would imagine only one of these will be a positive, and the other will be negative. Let's have a look and see. Okay, so on your calculator, fraction button, minus 20. And then I'll do the minus one minus the square root, and it was 20 squared minus four times one times minus 406.25, all then down the bottom line, the denominator, and it was two, press equals, and I got, oh, I got a very nice answer. I got minus, uh, minus 32.5, um, okay. And then the positive one, The positive one, so change, uh, do the plus root then, and I got 25 over, 25 over, uh, sorry, not on, yes, 25 over 2, sorry, 12 and a half it was, so that is going to be my answer, okay, so what does it say, um, by setting up and solving the equation, find the length of the field in meters, okay, right, a lot of people would not get the full marks for this, I would just say your uh, your x is equal to 12.5. Remember what x was. That was the width. So the width was equal to 12.5 meters. And the length then was 20 more than that. So it is 30. 30 can't even add by 20. Add 20. It's going to be 32.5. Okay. And the nice thing what you could do here is you could check. You could multiply those two things. 12.5. 5 times 32.5. I've done that in my calculator and I got 406.25. So I know, I know I'm right. Okay, just to show you folks in case before anyone asks me, uh, you could have done this differently and the maths would work itself out. I could have let my length be equal to x and then my width would be x minus 20 and then you would solve your equation. It would give you x being your, your length and that maybe is a slightly more efficient way of doing it. It is not massively more efficient, but there we go. Okay, excellent, all done.